All right, we're gonna do autopilot. And we're gonna do a navigation to Costco. Let's try navigating on autopilot. Here we go. We've got auto steer, navigate on autopilot. These are all beta. Traffic light, stop sign control, green traffic light chime, full self-driving visual visualization preview, that's this one, and summon beta. Summon is cool too. I will show you that one later. So I can't be on autopilot yet, but as soon as we get onto the highway, we can. Double tap, turns it on. I just have to keep my hands on the wheel so that it senses some pressure, but it does an excellent job staying within the lines. You can adjust how far it stays behind the cars in front of you by tapping to the right here, and then you can see this pops up, and I can adjust it shorter or farther. I like to have it set at the farthest. I had it set at the shortest, which is, I think, what it was set at when we got the car. And that was uncomfortably close, and cars would be stopping. I don't like to stop very quickly close to other vehicles. I like to slow down ahead of time. So it was much better after I just... See in the picture, we've got the lines that senses. It sees the speed limit signs as we go by. You'll see the signs and the obstacles show up on the side. does this is the only thing when it goes up in speed limit it doesn't automatically adjust the speed limit up so I got to tap that and it'll adjust it up so that's one thing I've got to pay attention to is speed limit changes if it goes up I have to tap it to go up but if it goes down it'll automatically slow down and I have it set at 10% see it tells me to apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. Just the slightest little nudge lets it know that I'm paying attention. <coughs> Which I've noticed it will also do if I just put my knee against it. So I don't have to have my hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> when you see it's all the bicyclists that we just passed. Now here when we get into town, this turns into two lanes. This is where it has a little bit of a trouble lane widens it's not quite sure what to do when it misses the lines on both sides still something that the full self-driving looks like it will fix but it also doesn't automatically go to the slow lane either it'll stay going in the one straight ahead so technically by rule of law you're supposed to go to the right that way other vehicles can pass you on the left, but this one just wants to go straight. Now if I do the blinker, it'll take us to the next lane and automatically turn off the blinker. 
it recognizes the traffic control ahead of us and it's stopping. I'm not touching the brakes at all. And it wants to still stop, so I need to tell it to go. Oftentimes it will, even if it's a green light, it'll say it's slowing for that traffic signal. And you have to tap down to tell it to go through or tap the accelerator pedal. Yeah, it always, we also have this pedestrian crossing, which it always slows down for. Because it's not quite sure what to think of it. Didn't slow down as much there. When we're in the left lane, it slows down quite a bit more. It practically stops. Yeah, it does want to practically stop. So what I do then is I just hold the accelerator a little bit and it keeps the speed going through it. We only have to stop at that if there's a pedestrian crossing and the light flashes, so it doesn't recognize that. So it's definitely got a ways to go. It's still learning. I can't wait for the full self-driving itself, but it does stop at lights. It'll stop with cars in front of us. It'll go. So I don't have to hit the brake or the gas. So this whole time, since I got on the highway, I have not had to hit the accelerator pedal or the brake. Let's see what happens with this navigate on autopilot if it'll turn us because it, it normally will not take a turn to get on the freeway. I wonder if it'll do it this time. So I noticed I already take it a little bit for granted because I wasn't even paying attention to if it was going to stop for the cars in front of us. I just trust it already to stop. <laughs> You're way more trusting than I am. Yeah. Well, I've been using it quite a bit. Every time I drive it, I use the autopilot. That's because you're lazy. <laughs> Well, I got to sleep sometime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I thought it wasn't going to go. I, I mean, I would have went a little bit sooner. So I thought I was going to go hit the, hit the accelerator, but I didn't need to. It started. <clears throat> so it says stopping for traffic. It does not look like it's going to take the turn. Yeah. Oh, it's not taking the turn. <laughs> I was testing it out. It did not want to take the turn. So it's not quite navigating on autopilot. It hasn't adjusted the speed limit quite yet to highway speed. And it should right here. So now we'll go back on autopilot. So if I do need to make a turn, I've got to turn off the autopilot. signal it wants to stop so I need to hit down because this is a highway if it doesn't need to stop I hit the uh, gear shift oh there's a car I have it set for way back so it won't automatically go around the car but if I do the blinker it will so we could I could have turned the blinker on and gone around Sure, what this is about. <clears throat> and then I hit the blinker to turn it back, get back in the other way. pretty much it that's the autopilot feature it's very convenient it actually does a better job I've noticed than I do staying between the lines which I think <clears throat> we just take it for granted we just know that we need to be somewhere between those lines I don't try to stay exactly in the middle between the lines but the car
car does, and it does a really good job of that. So that is the current autopilot. We've got auto steer, navigate on autopilot. These are all beta. Traffic light, stop sign control, green traffic light chime, full self-driving visual visualization preview, that's this one. And summon beta, summon is cool too. I will show you that one later. Bye for now.